Today I want to show you these fantastic retro Nokia mobile phones, and in particular we're going to be looking at this one, the 5110. It was launched in 1998 and it was particularly successful due to its excellent battery life and its reputation for being remarkably strong and rugged, and almost unbreakable. It was also one of the first phones to feature the game Snake, which became hugely popular amongst many. But today I figured we should have a look at what's inside one of these Nokia handsets. So it's time to give it the red hot knife treatment. So I lit up some blow torches. And heated up this kitchen knife. I made sure it was glowing really red hot to get a nice clean cut through the handset. And with a bit of luck, it should cut straight through it like butter. Hmm, I knew these were strong, but that's ridiculous. Maybe I'll start using it again. If you want to see more of my videos, you can click on the links or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching. Today I want to show you these fantastic retro Nokia mobile phones, and in particular we're going to be looking at this one, the 5110. It was launched in 1998 and it was particularly successful due to its excellent battery life and its reputation for being remarkably strong and rugged, and almost unbreakable. It was also one of the first phones to feature the game Snake, which became hugely popular amongst many. But today I figured we should have a look at what's inside one of these Nokia handsets. So it's time to give it the red hot knife treatment. So I lit up some blow torches. And heated up this kitchen knife. I made sure it was glowing really red hot to get a nice clean cut through the handset. And with a bit of luck, it should cut straight through it like butter. Hmm, I knew these were strong, but that's ridiculous. Maybe I'll start using it again. If you want to see more of my videos, you can click on the links or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching.